Here we are with Glypni episode 13. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment a bit what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. I didn't quite catch that. Oh. Oh. I guess that was better. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Talking time is over. Which call? Mm -hmm. And mess around afterwards. Oh, come on, Twitchy, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Making the moves. What does she want to know? Uh, is he living alone and just ignores everything because of 
the way he got manipulated, that he doesn't see how dirty it is. I guess he's not seeing it. Dude, this is messed up. When did you saw your parents last time? Oh, it's been a few years. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Carnal instincts. Oh, she died? Maybe, or she released him of the pact? Mm hmm. It's over. Oh, do they want to stop him somehow? Oh. <clears throat> this seems very important for the story. And this is anime original? I mean, okay, I guess the whole coin thing that he, that they said hand him over never happened because it's in this episode. So this whole, we give Ellen another coin didn't happen. I guess. I guess they did this. Oh. Interesting.
Man, the face reveal. I didn't thought of this. Man, what a surprise. What? I guess this is not really how it is, right? Because this is anime original. Following him. Following her. <laughs> oh, this girl. What does he want to do? He's not a fighting type. Give me a bike. <laughs> Oh. Why is Yoshioka still around?
I am so confused. <laughs> Isn't this all about remembering that it is Honoka? That's interesting. But someone got them already. <clears throat> okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. Um, maybe if you know the source material, the manga, and watch the anime, then let me know some stuff because I'm very confused here right now. So people said that this is that episode 13 is anime original, and so it has nothing really to do with the manga. The manga is basically everything up to episode 12 and episode 12 and then after that episode 13 is anime original so yeah it's more like to wrap it up basically because i think uh, i checked i think this the manga has like around 80 ish chapters so far and <clears throat> so i guess when this anime came out the manga wasn't very far so i think that when episode 12 came out that the manga was basically out of source material so there was not m more to do or to there wasn't more that they could use and so they i guess they made episode 13 to to like wrap it up nicely i guess um <clears throat> for the anime <coughs> because there wasn't anything else they could use from the manga that's my guess and that's why they had the episode 13 to be anime original but I feel like this conflicts everything. So first of all, we have the beginning that basically shows again that 
the Honoka ghost appears, whatever, and asks, like, who am I? And I thought it was all about, like, remembering Honoka. But later in the episode, <clears throat> she asks, who am I? And uh, Chuichi is about to say Honoka. And then Elena comes in and is like, no, she is not. So it's not about remembering Honoka. Otherwise, you get killed if you remember, remember that it's Honoka. I don't know. That's the confusing part. Is it about remembering Honoka or is it not? It seems, at the beginning it seems it is, later it seems it's not. That if you remember that you get killed. And then she says she is interested in the bonds between people but not in monsters. So is she thinking of Chuichi as a monster? Or is she... Or because they think of her as a monster that... I don't know, dude, it's confusing. I don't understand it quite well what they meant with it and how it's how it works <clears throat> and then this whole thing that we have at the, at the beginning of the episode that they are like okay here give us our uh, give us your coins because you are not fighters so we do it alone so give us your coins and go back to your normal life um and then there's this whole like scheme going on that they don't want to give the coins to Chuichi but to Elena and then Chuichi finds out and goes to Elena and ugh, it's it it seems kind of messy and then suddenly Elena that didn't want to fight Chuichi the whole time now they start fighting all, all just like that and whatnot it's like I feel like this whole thing that they suddenly start fighting kind of for real it seemed like feel kind of weird because that's never how it was before. Elena always avoided a fight, right? And now she suddenly goes all in, basically. Um, and um, yeah, then we have the whole scene with his house, right? That basically says that his parents are dead. They she they got killed by the Honoka thingy. And back then, Elena erased his memories, basically. And now he just lives in his house, thinks everything is everything is fine, but in, in reality he doesn't see that it's like completely run down basically, with every everywhere being dust and spiderwebs and all that shit, which is kind of messed up and all that stuff. Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't know, this episode just feels super weird, and it, like, compared to the other 12 episodes, this episode is, I think, by far my least favorite episode, because it just seems so weird, and seems like to conflict everything that we did before. Um, yeah, I'm not really a fan of this episode. And so I hope that it's true that this is, like, anime original, and that it has, that you can basically watch it without any context and so that like I said for me it seems like nothing makes sense I don't I mean this whole thing about remembering Honoka and all that stuff because we just heard about it last episode right that apparently there's this white thing and if you it asks who it is and if you can't answer then you get erased and now we saw it in action basically how it happens so I think that that's not how it actually works right and that I maybe don't understand how it works with like, do you, are you supposed to remember her or not? I think, I hope that this episode is really anime, origin, anime original so that you don't need any context and that it's weird because it makes no sense. Because it's just for the anime. So I really hope that this has nothing to do with the manga and it's just super weird. And you can basically forget about it because, like I said, I, I didn't enjoy this. I mean, you can let me know if you know the source material and everything. Um, my main question is, do I need to remember anything, uh, anything of this episode for the manga? Or is it completely, you can forget about it? I hope I can forget about it. If I need to remember anything, like maybe how this whole Honoka thing works, then let me know. Because this is also an interesting thing. Here in this episode, they're like, 
Shuichi is not allowed to remember Honoka because otherwise the world ends. The world gets destroyed. Like, ha ha what? How? This seems super weird that it's all basically based on Shuichi not remembering that she can't get her full power. That what? It's so weird. I don't understand it. It, yeah. Now that suddenly Shuichi is like the key for the Honoka thingy to not be able to destroy the world. I don't know. It seems weird. So yeah. Um, let me know. I think it was just kind of weird. Like I said, by far my least favorite episode of this of Gleipnir because it seemed just all over the place and weird. But yeah. Let me know if I missed something. Let me know if I need to know anything of it. Um, but yeah. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. I guess. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.